to the Arcade Mall, built in the late 1800s. This is where Gumdrop Shop is currently located. When you come in here, you're on Main Street, you have to walk through this corridor into the Arcade, which refers to the style of the way the courtyard was built with a glass atrium room. It's really beautiful. This is why I fell in love with this historic building. Come on. This is Gumdrop Squad. I was one of the first businesses in the arcade mall. Um, this is a very small storefront. I wanted to start small just to make sure that this business model would work. And I've grown this business for two and a half years using social networking and great customer service, which equals word of mouth. So now you're going to get to see the info. This is 545 square feet, packed to the gills. As you can see, shoes, books, blankets, gift items. This is the inside view of the front window. Um, there's dressers with clothes, racks with clothes, floor to ceiling. Everything is organized by size, gender, baskets, bins sale items, dollar onesies. Everything is affordably priced, organized, colorful. This is not your dingy thrift store, Goodwill, anything like that. This is a fun place for the kids. The kids love to play here in the toy area. Enjoy, and that gives mom, she, mom can still see the kids playing while she's shopping. I have my little shopping baskets. This is where all the computer social networking magic happens. Got more shoes, hats, hair accessories. It just goes on and on and on. But guess what? There's no more room. I have a basement full of merchandise right now, off season, that I can't even display. When a pregnant woman comes in and her baby's doing a few months and she's nesting and she's ready to shop, guess what? The stuff she wants, it's packed away in storage. That's not good. I'm losing customers. So this was the main reason and the biggest request I get is dressing rooms, which there's no room to put it. I have a curtain in the back <laughs> on a string that that's my storage corner. And when somebody needs to try on stuff, I say, hold on one second. And then I push everything over into another corner and they go in that corner and we close the curtain. Please people help me improve the function of this store for my customers is my new store okay so you saw how small and cramped the first location was we've only gone a little bit we're moving out to the main street i have tripled square footage um so i'll be able to better display everything i'll be able to display off season or all seasons at the same time so as you can see look how much space we have they're in the process of finishing everything there's um the drywall is up, the drop ceiling is in, next the floors will be done, bamboo, um, sustainable bamboo floors are coming in, and I'll just give you a quick tour. Okay, this way is, this is going to be the door, there's a basement for storage, and then over here is going to be my swap room, so there'll be a counter here. For me to accept the swap items, everything sorting and all that stuff will go on here. And for the one opportunities for the dressing room, it's going to be right here. So if you choose, if you're that one lucky donor that wants to do that, then you are going to have this will be, there'll be a wall here and a curtain here, and or, or maybe a wall here and a curtain here, something like that. And your name, it'll be painted. This fitting room has been provided by in your name so that will be named in honor of you which i think is a really cool feature because it's a very community-based project uh, my business is very community-based and i really want to get um the support of anybody that really believes okay so now when we come to the front of the store we entered at the back of the store you can see um moving to street level one of the most common comments that I get when a new visitor comes in my store is, how long have you been open? When did this get here? And I've been open for two and a half years. 
So people are still stumbling upon me every day because I'm hidden inside of a um, an indoor shopping center. It's a historic building, and from the outside, it looks like an apartment building, and we'll you'll see that. And this way, I'm now there's traffic going by, foot traffic, bicycles, cars, and I'm on the main street. So this will increase business um, and visibility, and you know, exposure, which is what I really, really need. So I really want people to have uh, an open. Uh, comfortable space to shop in for families in this neighborhood to easily find me easy for the parents to come unload their cars and unload the stuff they don't need anymore and load the car back up it's a much better location which is why I had to make this move before somebody else got it nice two big nice display windows to show all my beautiful merchandise and the bustling city awaits me outside so I really would appreciate your support it will mean a lot to me and this community thank you